Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. And by Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. In today's show, we're test driving the new Ford Mustang, looking at 3D printing for a full-size car, and you know what? There's yet another miracle involving the Hellcat Challenger. But now the news, because just as we went to press, Cadillac announced it is going to debut a new high-end model next year. The car will be positioned above the XTS, with production starting at the end of 2015 at GM's Detroit Hamtramck plant. Cadillac's new chief, Johan de Nyssen, says the car is going to be rear drive and built on an all-new platform. Whoa, will miracles never cease? Not only does the new Dodge Challenger offer a jaw-dropping 707 horsepower, now the EPA has rated the 6.2-liter supercharged Hellcat engine at a jaw-dropping 22 miles per gallon on the highway. It's rated at 13 in the city with a combined rating of 16. And if you really baby it, you can even do better than that. I'm test driving a Hellcat right now and averaging over 18 miles per gallon combined. We'll have more about that car coming up in a seat time review. Well, here's something we'll bet that you were not aware of before. The battery in your car will typically last anywhere from five to eight years, but not if your car has a stop-start system. That will wear the battery out in one and a half to two years. That's according to a supplier company called Maxwell Technologies that makes ultra capacitors. It says if you combine an ultra capacitor with a conventional lead acid battery, they'll last over 100,000 miles. That's over 160,000 kilometers. This setup is already available in Europe via the supplier Continental, and it's available on a number of Peugeots and Citroëns. And we think this technology could spread wide and far throughout the automotive industry. Have you ever wondered what would happen when you cross a Nissan Leaf with a Frontier? We didn't think so, but the folks at the company's tech center in Arizona did, and the results are not that bad. You're looking at Sparky, straight on. Yeah, that's its nickname. It looks like a regular Leaf, but that's about all that's similar. At the moment, the car is only being used to haul supplies and people at the tech center, but why is Nissan making such a big deal of showing us this project? So what do you think? Should Nissan actually put Sparky into production? For those of you who just saw the latest auto line this week about 3D printing, you know that the automotive industry is getting solidly behind it. And just this past weekend, Local Motors made the world's first 3D printed car at Chicago's International Manufacturing Technology Show. Called the Strati, it took 44 hours to print and required some assembly afterwards. Of course, not all the parts were printed, like the mechanical components and the electric powertrain, which comes from a Renault Twizy. It's going to be a long time before we see automakers use 3D printing to manufacture cars in mass production, but this effort will go down in automotive history as the first full-size car that was 3D printed. And now it's time for the answer to one of our barn finds. We asked if you could name the car in these photos, which were sent in by Autoline viewer Juan Manuel Perez de Brand, who saw the car in Tokyo. Of course, this was kind of an easy one, and I don't think we got one wrong answer. You all correctly identified it as a Lotus Europa. And if you've got pictures of car that you'd like to see in barn finds, just send them to viewer mail at autoline.tv. Two days ago, I got to test drive several different versions of the all new Mustang. Coming up next, I'll give you my impressions of this car. Here's a hint, whoa doggy. There's so much to love about Bridgestone's Dueler tires. The amazing traction, the quiet, comfortable ride, and they're really tough. It's like loving three tires in one. There's more car news and industry insight from the Autoline Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another Autoline episode.
Wow, has Ford got a hit on its hands with the all-new Mustang? Any way you want to measure it, this is the best Mustang that has ever been produced. The styling is a beautiful blend of heritage and modern. The rear end is particularly handsome and makes the car look lightweight. The front end is also good, but not quite as daring. To keep the traditionalists happy, the designers had to hold closer to the look that we're all familiar with. Inside, the Mustang finally looks like it has been modernized. Gauges and controls are crisp, easy to read, and well-placed. Buttons and knobs feel precise and look high-tech. The 2.3-liter EcoBoost engine is going to surprise a lot of people. The drivability is impressive at any speed. While at low speeds, it still kind of sounds like a 4. Once you get above 4,000 RPM, and especially at wide open throttle, it sounds surprisingly throaty. The 5 liter V8 will make Mustang enthusiasts feel that all is right with the world. The power, the sound, and responsiveness are even more than impressive. Both these engines are more than capable of pushing this car to its limits, but those limits are fairly high because this car has great grip even when equipped with all-season radial tires. This is a very neutral handling car, and you can easily transition from oversteer to understeer just by using the throttle. The Mustang gives you a choice of different performance settings. There's also a setting called Line Lock that allows you to lock the front brakes and do impressive burnouts, or you can choose the launch control setting that allows you to get maximum acceleration out of the car. The new Mustang is a thoroughly entertaining car. It's pleasing to look at, comfortable to sit in, and a blast to drive. And that's why we say, looks like Ford has a hit on its hands. We'll have even more details on this car coming next week in the seat time section of the AutoLine website. But that wraps up today's show. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you back here on Monday. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.